Hey, it's Rick, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can access both your personal planner as well as some of your key settings on your iOS device that is running iOS 7. So I'm gonna start by tapping on my home button. It's gonna bring us to my lock screen. And what I wanna point out to you is that there are a couple options here. It almost looks like horizontal scroll bars at the bottom and the top, but really what that is, is those are touch points that you can pull down or you can pull them up. What I'm gonna start with is tapping at the top of the screen and pulling down, which is gonna show us our personal planner. So let me go ahead and do that now. Touch and pull down. This shows you the current date. It shows you your current forecast. If you have any calendar items, it's gonna show them right here as well. Now notice up along the top, I've got today, I've got all, and if I tap on that, it shows all my notifications. And then I'm also gonna tap on missed, and that will show me any of my missed notifications. Now I'm gonna go back to today, and if you see this kind of arrow here, if I was to tap on that and pull up, that'll dismiss this. I can also hit the home button to dismiss it. But if you tap right above that arrow and scroll up, it's then gonna display a second page that shows the stocks that you've configured on your device, as well as any events that are scheduled for tomorrow based on your calendar. So it'll show you any things that you've got coming up tomorrow. That's how you access your personal planner. Now I'm gonna exit out of this and we're gonna tap at the bottom and scroll up. And what this is gonna do is access some key settings. Notice we have an airplane icon. If I tap on that, it puts us in airplane mode that basically disables Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Tap it again, it enables Wi-Fi and Bluetooth for me. If I tap on the Wi-Fi icon, it's gonna turn Wi-Fi off. Likewise, tap on Bluetooth, it turns Bluetooth off. If I tap on the moon icon, it turns do not disturb on on my phone. This icon here is my rotation lock. So I can tap on that and use that to lock my device in one orientation. I have brightness controls here. I have access to some of my songs. I can hit play and things like that. I've got airdrop. In airdrop, I can configure it for being off contacts only, everyone, uh, or I can cancel out. I can go into AirPlay and tap on AirPlay and I can select where I want to send things within my home that's configured for AirPlay. Hit done. And then finally, I've got a flashlight here. So if I tap on that, it will engage the LED flash on the other side and turn that on in a flashlight mode. I also have a stopwatch that I can tap on and it will show that your timer, your stopwatch, your world clock, things like that. Hit the home button to go back and then swipe up again. I can easily access my ca uh, calculator from here as well. I'll hit the home button to exit out, swipe up again, and then I can easily access my camera here as well. Hit the home button, and then if I wanted to, I could swipe up again to get back. Now you can also easily access the camera from your home screen. You'll see the icon here and just swipe up, and that's an easy way to access it as well. So that's a couple of new ways to access some settings as well as your personal planner with an iOS 7.